Zane Cloudfelter with Otters TV here with the Austin Nicely getting the start for the Evansville Otters in the series finale against the normal Corn Belters on Sunday. Had a really good start in Joliet in your regular season debut. What was working so well for you? Oh, really? Um, you know, just being able to kind of make pitches when I needed to. Uh, you know, I can't say my stuff was very good uh, that night, but had a lot of plays made uh, you know, by our, our good defense that we have here. And then just being able to, in some tough situations, get out of it early enough to you know, kind of limit the damage in the uh, This year it's interesting because the last couple of years, a lot of returning guys have been leading the roster. This year, a lot of new faces. You're one of them. How have you adjusted to your time here in Evansville? Uh, you know, for me, it's not you know too much different um, as far as schedule, and, and we have a lot of guys that have a lot of familiar time who have kind of been around the block um, here and there, and just being able to learn from each other, um, and we, you know we all have our own routines, all be able to you know kind of work together and are on the same page to you know try to you know win games here. Um, so I don't, I think it's you know we all kind of settled in pretty smoothly so far. It's been a lot of fun. You mentioned the affiliated players. You're one of the former affiliated players with the Houston Astros. How was that experience for you? Um, you know, I think it definitely helps, especially on a long season like this. Um, you know, playing every day uh, and, and being able to just to settle in easier by having you know sticking to the same routine that you know kind of got me to affiliated ball and then got me you know kind of through the years uh, of being able to be an affiliated. So I think you know it really helps. You know, the clubhouse is great. We have a bunch of good guys that you know make the clubhouse really fun. Um, and I think you know that's part of the reason why you know I look for us to you know win some games. Uh, playing affiliate baseball, is there anything you learned in that experience that you still take with you each and every start? Uh, I would say, you know, routine the most. Um, being able to just to always doing the same thing um, and always, you know, kind of having like a, a journal or a little, you know, uh, note in the back of my head of, you know, if this didn't work, how do I get back on track? Or, you know, what did work at times and what didn't. Um, so I think that's kind of, you know, helps you get through a long season. For our viewers who aren't familiar with the starting pitcher's routine, if you could, could you give us a, an abbreviated version of what you do between starts? Uh, it's, you know, uh, everybody has their own thing. Uh, but, you know, every day has its purpose. Um, you know, even, you know, day of, uh, timing of when you get to the ballpark, when you start to stretch, when you get changed, when you go out. Yeah. Um, everything for me is I like to be on, you know, on the minute. Uh, just so I never feel rushed or I never feel you know, kind of behind. Um, so I think just being able to stick to it, uh, whether that's the gym, whether that's your running, your throwing, everything should be the same in the weekend with that. Uh, you're making your home debut at Mossy Field on Sunday against Normal. So how excited are you after already seeing uh, last weekend and all the fans? Uh, really excited. This is a you know this is a really unique, great place to play. Um, you know, not only with Boston Field being you know so characteristic, but then the fans and the support we get here, um, it's just you know makes it kind of one of those venues that you don't know until you until you get here how you know how kind of special and unique you know, it is to be able to pitch here uh, and much less play. Virginia guy, right? Come from Virginia. So had you heard of Evansville or had you been to Indiana I before you not. got here? I had never been to Indiana. Never been through it. Okay. Um, so, but it's it's been great so far. Um, you know, nice country out here. Um, you know, and all the people have been very nice. So growing up on the East Coast, this was flyover territory. It definitely was right? flyover states, yeah, all for right. sure. Fair enough. I was born and raised here, okay. so to me it's a little bit more. But uh, looking ahead here, what are some of your individual goals as we move on here in the season? Uh, you know, just being able to go out, you know, every fifth day and, you know, give ourselves a chance to win. Um, you know, we have so many good guys here that are, and I, I think we could have something special, but just being able to, you know, do my little piece of the puzzle to be able to just, you know, get us a win, um, you know, when I when it's called upon and, and just be able to just continue to be able to play, play the game that we all, you know, grew up to love. I appreciate it. I'm saying Claude Felter, this has been Otters TV.